look. Let me lay down on. <laughs> don't put it there. You'll be laying down over them. They don't get that hot. What am I doing? No, I mean they're gonna be like stabbing you. Well, you gotta lay tactically. This is just as likely to stab me. What is that? That's my lock pick. Oh. Pete has decided to install a header at nine o'clock on a Tuesday night mm -hmm. on an FRS. Let's see how long it takes us, and let's see how long it takes him, and how long we'll be here watching slash waiting. What do you think? Put it in the comments below. So, I mean, aren't they? Aren't those the freight, Harbor Freight ones, anyways? So like, just get another one. They're the ones that you can get for free if you have the coupon. Joel, what are we doing? We're doing Pete's Well, we're, we're supervising Pete as he does this episode. Pete, how do you like your lights under there? This is working surprisingly This is some well. sick looking lighting. I thought this camera. was going to be dumb, but I'm like genuinely surprised. <laughs> it gets a nice even light too, you know? It's like, it, it's like bright, but also like really classy, like a nice restaurant, you know? <laughs> how do you think it's going like, to take you to... going on? How do you think it's going to take you to do this? How many what? what? How many hours is this going to take? Uh, one for each oh. strand of light, so two. Alright. I hope. How goes it, Pete? This is harder. The whole laying down thing is harder than I thought. With a burst eardrum. How'd you burst your eardrum? I had an ear infection during my Florida trip. Ew. Yep, your ears fuck you up. They can fuck you hard. Alright, all this shit soft. So we need a 14, like, every extension of it. Every extension in North America. Yep. Did you worse. take a before video of the sound? No. No. But too late now. No. Nope. But we all knew what it sounded like before. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. But I, I feel like I'm not going to be able to tell if it's different or not. <laughs> it's going to fucking rumble. Does Mark have an unequal length header? Yep. Okay. So yeah, we should have told uh, someone to bring your swivels up. I know. Don't. You don't really need swivels. There's... You can get at basically everything with just like straight extensions and then undoing where it goes to the rest of the exhaust you can do with a uh, wrench. Yeah, regular wrench. So then you gotta get. Do you, you know remember the header? Point. What? Do you remember the header? It's in the house. Do you have gaskets for it or you just never use them? Gasket gasket maker, things. dude. Also that or something that. No, you bet. Somewhere it's around stock here. Stock MLS ones are probably fine. <laughs> What's MLS? Multi-layer steel. Oh. It's, like a, it's gonna be five little layers of steel. Is that the? Is that like the all the perforated holes on gaskets those and? Are just straight up garbage. I would never use those. <laughs> Multi-layer steel is like a layer of like it's literally a thin piece of steel and there's five of them. Okay. It's a lot of like factory GM usually. I bet factory of this uses it. The the ones with the holes poked in it, everyone aftermarket ships you those because the. You know, upload they seal well this beat. because they're basically what? cardboard so they crush. Yeah. So it can make a cheap header Not right now. seal well but if, if they didn't grind the flange uh, flat or something. Okay. Because I yeah like I always see those I just never yeah, see well, like they come with everything but I always use them. Ty had one of his DSM and they blew a hole in it in the first like three miles. Nice. You need a hand, Captain? You good? So I have so I made it here and then broke it. The 14? Yeah, I'm regular. Uh uh. Oh. oh. I don't see Look it. Look at this. This is just my idea. It was my idea. Oh. Let's see a wrench piece. It's copyright Graham. You might have to loosen the over pipe because it's tight fit. Alright. Nice. Wait. 
We had to do it last two times. I had the thing up. Yeah. It probably does make because it a little easier. The stock header is, has stubs. I mean, I understand. I've done it before. And there's not enough room to pull it backwards. It's probably, I know. It's a pain in the ass. Is changing an FRS header easy, Pete? No. Uh, if I had a lift, I'd be done by now. But He's right. This is Mark, why I sold it to him, though, because I didn't want to do it. <laughs> Mark's one were real retarded, because where they, like, bend is right where Mark's our bolt retarded. down. And so, like, the bolt was longer than the bend, so it would just hit right there. Oh, you had to cut the stuff? No, I just had to, like, just keep on wiggling and wiggling and wiggling yeah. for, like, half an hour until I find There's a lot of finagling. on the metal itself, it just finally slipped on it. This is the part where... Pete is uh, finally ready to rip this header off. Ow. But isn't that, it, aren't one of the bolts, like, the heads, like, one... Hey, Bo. Hmm? Ladies and gentlemen, here we are today installing <laughs> a new header on Pete's truck. Did you say truck? He was vlogging that over and I was like, this is why I sold it to him. Y'all have a big quarter of that. <clears throat> James, did you see our footage on your camera? Oh, you upload that video, you but upload it as only that video, video, please. please. I think so. What? <laughs> what footage are y'all fucking? There's no bolts holding it on anymore. Yank on that bitch. That's good, I like that. Just pulling it with all your weight, and eventually something will happen. Graham, push the exhaust back so it's off the studs while he's pulling down. I, I already see, did that. It's totally off. I That's what I was just that. under there doing. Really? <laughs> you should hulk that bitch. But please, tell me what I should be doing. Joel. The problem is, is that if you pull like, straight down and you're not careful, it'll fuck the O2 sensor. Because you have to like go down and sideways to make that clear. Mm, I see. Are the brownies burning? We're we gonna yeah. get any brownies. brownies. They're on fire. We gotta they go. never got in there. <clears throat> oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so the house is on fire, but the brownies are burning. <laughs> no, the brownies are cooking because of the I see movement. Yeah, we, oh, we're boys. Right this header's about to be off. You know, if Keener was here, That's he would have this done by now. The whole engine's moving because <laughs> that just means the head motor mounts are just not there. <laughs> That's not a good thing, exactly. <laughs> Heather, but I can't I go anywhere. I knew like, her Heather, better when she was. She's probably freshman, a freshman because I think I met her yeah. when I was a freshman. There you go. She, she might have actually graduated. Actually, there it is, kids. Virginia E L I. She's like she started like a little bakery company now, and she's doing that. Cool. You feel accomplished, Pete? She's from Somewhat. Connecticut originally. So can we put on the fire? Can, can we, we burn this? No. <laughs> oh. Hold our TV. Got mutual friends or something? I like the environment, so I just left it know. there for you to well, destroy the environment. To pour the logs, but it got all the dirt, so. <laughs> uh. so environmentally conscious. Uh, I'm so excited for Pete. It's stainless. Stainless and nice. Where the fuck did it go? The, the cracked ones on, next to your left hand on the primary right there. Oh. Yeah. Saws all too and buy new ones. My, if, you, if you're from New England. No, even my O2s we have to bring over to my neighbor uh, down in Florida and like get them cut out. Do you want to try putting something on this? <laughs> what kind of something? Lithium grease. You know what, they're just going in raw. <laughs> That's what I did last time. Just put some grease on something. Right? Yeah, I would, I would try, well... There's some grease on my uh, busted oh, bench. Yeah. yeah, and he left it. Yeah, I don't right know here. where he put it. Did Justin get a hold of it? Jesus. Because he was using a bunch of grease on the boat. Oh, Grant, that's the Yeah, I was going to say, Grant, yeah. what are you doing? That's the first problem, boys. We're tightening it. <laughs> oh, God. How much easier that is. We can do it the right way. Now you can't make fun of my... Uh, it's won't come off because it's so fat. Maybe it's a YouTube channel. A YouTube channel? Yeah, follow him. Oh, God. Mine's a joke. <laughs> so is mine, don't worry. No, yours is not bad. Those are never coming out. <laughs> it's stuck. Alright, Pete, it's part of payment. You gotta give me this one. Sure. Just kidding, I'm not gonna go through the effort of that. 
Can't even sell your effervescence off. Mark did agree to buy it for the amount. For 20 bucks? No, 15. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> Just for getting $20. <laughs> Just go down $5, Graham. That header does look good. Blood for the blood gods. It does look good. It'll it'll make a real nice Instagram picture with all these like artsy fartsy lights and shit. Yep. This is like a real serious arm workout that I was not prepared for. Update: Pete doesn't know where his exhaust gasket is, and uh, we are pretty far into this header job. So Pete's gonna RT RTB the fuck out of this. So. It's a party. We got wine, we got beer, we got brownies that are probably burnt courtesy of Harris. Yeah. And Graham is pissing up a storm over that way. Here we are today. Harris Warlick with unburnt uh, paste, or not pastries, baking products, brownies. <laughs> We're good to go. Hey, Ashby. <laughs> Yeah, you, still, you still got a gap? You still got a gap down there? It's the same size as the factory one, by the way. How is this uh, gasket making? We're making it. He's making it. I need a... I'm gonna have to slide in there next to you, Peter. Oh, man. Some gay shit's going down. Let's see what I need. I can see it. I can see it. I know what you mean. I mean, it's different. All right. Yeah, it's, it's, all right. Well, it hurts. See, like... This is constricting, as he said, but it's easier on the knees, too. Right, right here, kind of like yeah. my knees. Graham, let me see uh, that exactly. gasket. That's the point. Oh, no, we're right. trying. So, the, the door is... Yeah. Are you proud of your work? This is, this is probably, oh yeah, oh. You do this shit if you walk <laughs> so in my dealership right, right now. It is called Midori, it is called Midori it's Green. green. Okay, okay. Guarantee it. All right, kids, you need to make your gaskets out of cliff bar boxes and RTV. This is approved by Graham Millie. The Alfie over there? Dude, that, that hat is amazing. Ah! <laughs> According to Pete, this uh, unequal length header will give you seven louds. That's how it's measured. bag of random junk. I took your out of it. We got all kinds of fun stuff in here. We got the stuff to adjust my suspension, random wiring bits, some manuals that are in Japanese for my springs. A pulley, some of the weird 3D badges that came with my springs, this oil uh, drain plug gasket, other pulley. That bag's got rips in Cozy. it. Which one? Oh yeah, this is the bag number two. Ah, you should probably stop using yeah. plastic bags. Yep, that's Japanese. That is Ching Chong level <laughs> stuff. That's why I'm learning it. That and because it comes for my degree. Yeah. I'm gonna wash my hands so I don't forget. Forgot a critical bit. element. Uh, so you're probably... Yeah, the plug shit. No, you can't. Yeah, yeah we gotta plug stuff back together. Yesterday, but change the ways. <laughs> I like your oh, perfect. Shirt. Today, we have brownies okay. made by Jenna and I. I think there? mostly Jenna made them, right? I did make them primarily. Well, you cooked them. Supervised by <laughs> And as you can see, they're not burnt. They are not so burnt. Today not has yet. been a successful day. <laughs> not yet. This we'll is just super burn hot. later. <laughs> They're just going to burst into flames. <laughs> yeah. Randomly. Okay, well, can I be difficult? Because I want that one. Are you asking for a middle piece? <laughs> yeah. You are a diva. <laughs> can I have another middle piece, Harris? I'm not the only diva These then. are perfect. Hmm? These are perfect. Harris, I will take a corner if they're up for grabs. Oh, it's kind of hard. I don't think of
I was expecting a flyby. I don't know if it's yeah. actually any louder. It's definitely like... It's definitely louder. Yeah. yeah. Inside the car it's not louder, but the noise is like out of the car. Because mm. like before it sounded really, really loud, but then I'd hear you guys like rip it at autocross and I'm like, that's not... Right. It's like louder than stock, but not a lot. This like, it, 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 the noise was outside. It's definitely louder. Same with when I'm driving like Alfie's car, the F-Type, I can, like it sounds like it's behind you. Before the noise kind of sounded like it was all around you. Now it's behind like every other part. Mm. I think my exhaust leak is fixed because we have like a semi real gas in now. Might be. <laughs> semi it's better than it was. No gasket with one yeah. and a half studs. Yeah, and just our ATB is not going to give you a good seal yeah. in the way that is. The mid range power feels a little better too, which is what everyone says for the article. There we go. Good gains. You don't get